guys this is Mori Ortega and today I'll be showing you guys the basic rules of art I'll be describing each pencil each paper each racer that I use and I'll be uh, as well describing what I do while I'm drawing and as you're a beginner or willing to learn into uh, drawing uh, please do so ask questions uh, leave comments down below if you have any uh, curious questions or just DM me on Instagram I prefer yeah I forgot to mention uh, I'll be heading to the store to get all the supplies that I need and yeah hope you guys uh, enjoy the little montage I'll be creating enjoy So let's start with the paper. This is gonna be tracking paper. Um, usually I use this for like sketching quick sketches, getting an idea what I want to draw. And so usually they're thin, easy to rip. If you leave this in the sun, it turns yellow. That's a fact. And yeah, so this is like a sketching paper that I use, really thin. So Bristol, it's going to be used for my last uh, final project. These are going to be really nice paper, really thick. And I'll find them more like premium type of uh, paper. And yeah, there's different sizes for these. Usually I get the 11 times 14. Pretty good paper, good quality. I recommend it. So when it comes to erasers, uh, usually I use this one uh, when it comes to smudges. I just, you know, erase all the smudges all around the object of the drawing. And so for this one, I use it for um, when it comes to uh, portrait drawings and going to really deep details. I first want to discover about graphite pencil and that it fits with the realism type of uh, art. I really wanted to step up the game and um, challenge myself to uh, develop new skill and not gonna lie, graphite pencil was one of the hardest in a long journey to process so there's talking about these pencils so there's light medium to dark uh, level of darkness of what they do actually i'm gonna put here in the top each level of pencil the uh, light to dark the object uh, you're looking at so basically just do like a quick drawing do like a quick smooth drawing like pretend there was a pencil box in front of me so let me draw just just a little and the pencil like that the racers, the pens, the markers, whatever it's in the box. You know, that has no, 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 no. Box, you know? so <laughs> and that's how you basically do like a form of a, uh, of a drawing. That's basically like your skeleton. This represents value. And as you can see, um, it really stands out, right? Because Here's light and then here's dark. And then pretend that the light is coming from that way. You know it's gonna be dark here. But if the light's coming from that way, you know it's gonna be dark here, right? So basically that's how you do the shading. And that's what makes it stand out. Uh, learning this pro cross hatching could be another type of technique of uh, value. You have to you, you don't have to use a uh, shading. So what I mean by cross hatching is by well basically like so straight lines going up and down so it's basically like that and then that's hatching but when i say cross hatching it's gonna be again like that and that gives off value as well it comes to anime Cross hatching will be the perfect use in comic books. Okay, so imagine an anime character and he scraped his knee. To give out detail and action of what happened, 
on that knee will cross hatching is going to finish that job. That's it for this video. This video. Share the video. And subscribe to my channel. And I hope y'all learned something today. And please uh, comment down below what type of video should I make. Should I continue making those edit videos like I usually do? Catch on.